What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I am going to be bringing you another gold farm. And uh, this is a gold farm that you're going to want to do before Battle for Azeroth comes out. And it's basically just a way to uh, fill up your gold inventory a little bit more. Um, the idea behind it is just to make some extra gold before Battle for Azeroth uh, that you can sell off quickly and have in time for the uh, patch and actual expansion to come out. So... As you know, when you start in Battle for Azeroth, there's a few things that are profitable, and you actually need to have a lot of gold to get into them. So, first things first, that's like uh, mining and herbalism are the two most profitable, profitable things at the beginning of any expansion. So, I highly recommend you pick those up. But today, we're going to just be building up some gold stockpiles in hopes that when we get like shoulder and chance stuff like that we're able to purchase them and flip them for a higher price or something like that because you know every expansion there is a need to build wealth before it starts because there is stuff that you are going to have to buy during it so today i'm going to show you what we're farming i'm going to show you how we're farming it what you're going to need to buy to farm it and also actually i basically listed everything there but let's get into the video so first things first also wait wait wait, wait. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below, please. I love you all if you do that. Also, check out the links in the description. But, so first things first, you can probably see, we are going to be farming Volatile Fire. This is what it goes for on my server. Your server might be much higher. Um, it, it really depends. So, as you can see here, um, it's actually going for a decent price on my server, and there's not a whole lot um, listed up right now, if we look through right here. So, you can see, that's, uh, that's, that's it, you know. Um, and we can actually make a lot of gold and pick up a lot of these quite quickly. So, as you can see, this is what we're going to be farming. Now I'm going to show you what you need to buy. So, f the first thing that you need to buy is the Potion of Treasure Finding. So, as you can see, this is what it's going for on my server. Your server might be a little bit higher. Uh, it, it just depends on server. It is a bit pricey, but you will make that gold back in farming it. So... As you can see right there, you basically want to buy one of these. It'll last for an hour. So if before you start to farm, plan to farm for an hour, pop this potion, and while you're farming, as I'll show you what it does, is you know it helps you find extra treasures basically when you loot them off of corpses um, of any any monster or whatever in the Cataclysm expansion or zones. So. But now that you have your potions treasure finding, you also need bear tartar. So, as you can see, this is quite cheap. Um, I always keep a stack on me just for farming. That's after you kill a mob, you will get a speed boost. So, we're going to go to a raid location. I'm going to show you where it's at. And yes, I've co covered it before. And I'm going to explain to you what you're going to do. And you guys are going to make thousands of gold before Battle for Azeroth starts. So I'm going to cut the video now, and we'll see you there. All right, we're back after that cut, and as you can see, I am at the farming location. And if you are a true gold farmer, or you even played during Cataclysm, you know where I am at. I am at the Firelands Raid entrance. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly where that is. It's in Mount Hyjal, and it's right here. Mount Hyjal is in Kalimdor, right there. So just so you have no problem finding it, it's right there. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to be doing trash runs throughout the entire instance. If you don't know what a trash run in is, oh my gosh, that was terrible. If you don't know what a trash run is, it's where you run through the entire dungeon, basically, and you pick up all the trash mobs uh, that aren't bosses, basically, in the instance. You group them all into one big group, alien them all down, loot them, run out and reset it, and you do it constantly. So the idea behind it is with the potion of treasure finding, which will give you chances chances to get like uh, extra volatile fire, air, stuff like that. Um, you're gonna get a ton of volatile fire out of this farm to begin with because this is one of the major key players in the farming like community, basically. Um, also, if you are a skinner, you can skin some of the mobs in here. You will get a nice amount of leather off here. It might take a it a little bit longer to get it off the auction house, but it is worth it. And uh, Potion of Treasure Finding is still valuable. Some people may not think it, but it still works, and it still will help you make gold. Maybe not as much as it used to, but you'll still make a ton. So right now, while we're outside the instance, we're going to pop our Potion of Treasure Finding, and we're also going to eat Bear Tartar, as you see me doing right here. Um, 
just to get that extra speed bo uh, bonus. Now there are some mobs that can knock you off and do all that crazy stuff. If you keep running, I haven't ever really had an issue with that. Um, it It's all kind of dependent. There also are vendors out here that can sell you stuff and repair stuff and all that good stuff. So if you want to do that, repair and uh, sell all your trash after every run, that's also an option right there because you can totally get rid of all these. So we're going to go ahead and head into the instance. Now you can run this on normal or heroic. Uh, it all basically depends on what kind of transmog items you want to get out of the dungeon in return. I run it on normal. Uh, just out of spite, it's just what I've been doing always and it's what has worked for me. Uh, you can run it on heroic, I, I, I mean it doesn't really matter to me. So as you can see there is a ton of mobs throughout this entire area. There's also a ton of bosses. We don't really want to worry about these, we just basically want to loot every, we want to aggro everything in this area all throughout here. Pull it all to some area and AOE it all, AOE it all down. Now these big behemoth people, uh, they do make it quite difficult to see, so you might have to zoom in quite far in your character model or something like that. Make sure you get every mob you see, because they cannot kill you. I have gone AFK in this dungeon once, and like, I <laughs> came back three hours later and the mobs still were hitting me and have not killed me yet. So, as you can see, there are quite a few NPCs, a core hound over here. You also do have chances at some actually decent cool drops uh, in this dungeon as well. Now, obviously, if you can't see anything and it's kind of bothering you because of that magma lord, you can always just AOE them. Yeah, and as you can see, they will stun you like that. So, let me get my AOE off, please. Yeah, this can happen, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, I got it. So, you see, AOEM, they all died. Now we're going to pick this up. We're going to have a lot of stuff to pick up. There's a treasure chest, there's another one. Uh, you can skin, it's not, I mean, it's up to you. You get savage leather, you will also make some extra gold in it. So, I'm going to run over here. Got some greens, a little bit of transmog, not too bad. Uh, the big players, the big, uh, you know, drops that come from this farm are after you get past that area, you go pick up all these turtles and then all the Naga uh, type people, they do drop a lot of gold. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab some more of these elementals, maybe these dogs too. And then we're going to go up here just to show you guys, uh, for the video's sake, how uh, it's easier just to pull everything. Uh, first try if you can if you can't that's fine you just won't hit instance lock uh, when I've trash run this farm and I've made it super like as fast as my trash runs could possibly be I uh, I ran the dungeon and I got out and I had like three more minutes till it reset you know so it wasn't too bad basically just run it till you you can't anymore so you can see I got stunned we'll see if I get away yeah I'm still getting away if you have any speed bonus uh, items or anything like that, that's obviously going to help you because you cannot fly in this dungeon. So now that I got all these people grouped together, I'm just going to AOE them all down. They have things that will launch you in the air and stuff like that. Outsiders encroach on the Fire Lord's private grounds. So you got another green, more greens. I don't need that. I'm just looting slow just to show you guys all that I got. Now I'm going to actually show you this treasure chest right here and how quite useful they can be. So we're going to open one volatile air, open another, it's just gold sadly, pyrite, volatile water, or money. So as you can see these are very very useful. Just the potion of treasure finding itself normally pays for itself quite quickly so it's definitely worth to pick up. Um, if you really want to like be content and clear out this whole dungeon with the or raid with the bosses and everything, that's fine. But just know you'll you won't be able to reset it, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. But yep, all you do is just run around like a madman and get everything to follow you. Now, if you're a veteran gold farmer, you can leave the video after this point because I don't really have anything 
uh, any tips, tricks, or anything like that coming up uh, after this. So basically, this is all you need to do if you're new. I'm just trying to help everybody out who is trying to farm and make gold before Battle for Azeroth. If you came back and you just had no way to make gold or something along that, those lines. So we're going to aggro all these. There we go. And yeah, that's, uh, that's literally just what you do for the whole dungeon. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, I ask that you like, comment, or subscribe down below. It really helps me out. Helps grow the channel, and it helps show me that I'm doing something that's uh, worthwhile. You know, so I I do hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you actually enjoy listening to this awful loud noise while while being stun locked constantly. <laughs> I don't want to cut the video here because it's gonna be terrible, but. Oh my gosh. This is why it can get quite irritating. There we go. Now they're all dead. Minus that guy. Alright. Kill them all. Oh, that's crazy. A ton of treasure chests as you can see. Some stuff. We'll see if we can tra sell any of that. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just stock all these up. You do not worry about the trash later, you just want to do this as fast as you can. Living Ember, Crafting Reagent, uh, let's see here. Nothing super good, nothing super good that I can sell for Transmog, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. I love you all, and goodbye, beautiful.